Ego I open up with the message of Jesus Christ written by bringing it to you and ten revelations of messages of Christians from across the world. Behold, I come quickly. Be Greetings, my fellow brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ um, from Muscle Bay, South Africa. Um, yes, I've uh, had a rapture dream and I'd like to share that with you. Um, please bear with me though. This video might be a bit uh, lengthy, so um, um, at the beginning I'll just uh, discuss the rapture dream and some other things that have been on my mind and also um, another dream that I had re just recently um, where I met Jesus and I'd like to share that with you. So yeah, let's get on with it. Um, now, I was visiting my dad when I had the rapture dream. Um, I was visiting him in Joburg and it was in July that I had the rapture dream when I was at his house, so yeah. Um, in the dream itself, um, I was in a farmhouse, um, in a rural area, um, and there was like an open field outside, I remember that. And I was inside the house and I was arguing with people. Um, I don't know what we were discussing, but I was arguing with them. Um, and, um, I just wanted to get out of the house, so I walked outside and that's when I noticed that the sky was all of a sudden yellow, like, it was like an ominous yellow and there was like a haze in the sky, like it was very dusty. And then to my right, I saw um, a mountain in the distance, and the mountain itself just sort of broke in two, and it lifted up, and it, it's as though gravity itself, you know, just didn't exist. And obviously, there was like lots of boulders and sand, and trees were being torn apart and lifting up as well. And um, other people uh, from inside the house also came outside to have a look at what was going on, and. As I noticed them, I saw that some of them were being raptured. And then I knew that this was, you know, the return of Jesus. And I was like, okay, <laughs> something is really going on. And um, I saw everyone was getting raptured and I was still standing there watching them go up. And I was like, okay, what's going on? And <laughs> I need to go as well because I know what's coming. So um, I immediately started to repent. And that's when, you know, it started happening that um, I started being... Um, raptured as well and it was such a relief like I cannot explain the relief because I was just so desperate and I was repenting so much that eventually I felt like my prayers were answered when I was being raptured up and at that moment I was nowhere near on the farmland I was like in orbit around the earth and um, I looked down behind me and um, I saw a massive massive planetary body I could only describe it as something like Nibiru or you know another another planet of some kind and it hit the earth and um, as it hit the earth I just saw um, the mantle being torn apart and just massive devastation and uh, yeah that was that was the first rapture dream well the only rapture dream I've had but uh, I thought it was very important to share that uh, and yeah now looking back at it though I realized that the reason why the mountain was lifting up is that, you know, the gravity of this other planetary body came and sort of just counteracted our gravitational pull. So that's why um, you see things lifting up in the dream. Um, do I believe that something like this will happen? No, I do not think something like this will happen. But um, when I say like something like this won't happen, I don't mean an actual planet's going to hit the Earth. If that happens, then, you know, there will be no life left on planet Earth, no. But I do believe that um, it is a warning, just like all these rapture dreams are. So if you had to ask me, do I believe this means something? Absolutely, it means something, yes. But um, it's not going to be that, you know, something's going to hit us. More rather that something is coming, something ominous, something dark, which, yeah, makes sense. Anyway, um, I hope you like what I had to say and, you know, I just felt that I had to share that and, uh, yeah. So on a final note, please repent of your sins. You know, Jesus is coming very soon. I feel that, you know, he's just around the corner, literally. Um, so please, please repent of your sins and accept Jesus into your life. You know, he is our Lord and Savior. And without him, we are lost. 